everybody, I am Heartsy Archie and welcome to episode 3 of what I like to call Art in Progress. Today's showcase will be NXT's very own Ember Moon. This episode is going to be a little bit different as I'd like to throw in a bit of a tutorial for some of the key topics I'd like to bring up. Those key topics being using a tested color palette, texturing, and detail. Let's jump right in. I'll first start off by showing you the picture of Ember I used as a reference. Notice all of the different textures in this picture. The scales on her hood, the strands of hair, and the creases on her scarf all stand out the most. When I first made this sketch, I kept all of the details minimum and focused more on the outlining of everything and getting the proportions right. Fast forward to this picture, where I fixed her too small hood and added some more detailed lines. Before shading Ember in, I experimented on a scrap piece of paper to make sure that all of the colors worked and blended together nicely. I can't stress how important doing something like this is, even though it just might look like scribbles. It's always a good idea to use something like this before you try to use a color that you think will look good, but it ends up not blending in the way that you'd like. It's much better to do this on here than on your final project, trust me. Now here's where you can see the shading and texturing really starting to play an important role. Instead of trying to shade her entire hood all at once, I focused instead on each individual scale. This helps a lot so you don't get overwhelmed by trying to figure out how to shade in a big area all at once. Imagine trying to do this hood all at the same time. Plus, focusing on a much smaller portion of it at first helps you zero in on the finer details of your project. Some more texture and detailing comes in here with both her face and the scarf as well as one half of her hair. And here's where you can really see all of the uh, shading and everything starting to come into play a lot more. And I'm going to be focusing on this sort of shading. Okay, so I used to shade a different way than this, but recently I have discovered a much better way to shade. And that is to start darker and go out lighter. And what that does is it helps you blend in everything together a lot better. So I'm going to start off with black here. Just a nice pure black. And then you'll want to go to the next lighter color and sort of start blending it together with the black. Leaving a little bit out here like that. And then you'll want to get the next lighter color, this tiny little nub of a pencil here. I want to just keep doing the same thing with a lighter pencil every time. And I will keep doing this until I get to my lightest pencil, which is just a pure white pencil. And your white and black pencils are extremely important in stuff like this. You will want to make sure that you have plenty of these colored pencils, the white and the black especially, in order to shade properly and shade with a nice variety of different grays and different colors like that. And as you can see, what that did here going from dark to light like this is it helped create a nice smooth shape here and a nice smooth pattern, whereas before it would be kind of messy and sloppy and you would have to use one of these blender pencils in order to smooth it out. Whereas this, it smooths itself out, layering itself over one another. So now you're going to see what Ember looks like before I started on the background, which is an entire whole video topic all on its own. <laughs> but to keep things short and sweet, here's the final drawing in its completion. This was incredibly fun to draw and really gave me quite the challenge, but it was very well worth it. <laughs> I also find it awesome that Ember saw the drawing on Twitter and actually thanked me for it. This really made my day and it was a pleasure to draw this for her. I plan on making more art in progress and tutorial videos like this in the future. If there's a technique or tip that you'd like to know more about, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to better explain everything and make more videos. As always, I'm open to any theories, collabs, and suggestions that you guys might have. I am Heartsy Artsy and thanks for watching!